Hey friends, hope you're doing well. So today we have a viewer suggestion. Good friend Rod, he uh, suggested I test out my new camo, the new um, UCP US military surplus jacket that I got. So uh, here's his comment, Boop, right there. And let's see how the weather is today. It's currently 25. Let's do this. Yeah, just doing some testing it'll be interesting to see which is better like even if I hold these up here and you look something that's not even made for Canada the DPM you know like glaringly different There we have it friends. Draw your conclusions as you will, but I'd say it's a fail. Damn UCP. It doesn't look good to me at all. Now I'm just looking right now at the uh, screen on the phone. We'll see better when I get back to Kirk HQ and get it on the computer, do the editing. See better then, but uh, it doesn't look good. Looks like this old, old British DPM is much better at the camouflaging and concealing. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, time for a bonus segment now. So it's currently 25 degrees. That's toasty. <laughs>
Yeah, it's supposed to be high of 29 today. Uh, this is some of that Kool-Aid clear stuff, that flavored water. It's lightweight, takes up pretty much no space at all. Where I fit three of these, you can only fit one plastic or glass water bottle. Well, yeah, you want to make sure you have lots to keep you hydrated. You got any uh, kind of electrolyte, you know, I'm not talking gator, like actual electrolyte, you want to bring that with you. You want to have some salty stuff like a trail mix or something like that because as you sweat you got to replace that salt in your body. Plus taking in salt will help you retain moisture, retain water. And uh, today I brought some ice cream. It's astronaut food, woo! Not a huge fan of freeze dried food but hey. <laughs> What's better than having ice cream that you can carry around for a few hours in your backpack, right? And it's not melted. Even better, right? Even better. Alright, or fall down there then. Step on it with my boot. But yeah, let's, uh, let's dig into some ice cream. So there you go. Some Neapolitan. Look at that, three colors, huh? Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, I guess. I like it. <laughs> it's not all melty or nothing, but hey, ice cream is ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. Man, it's nice outside. I'm going to finish my drink and my ice cream, and I'll carry on. <clears throat> but thank you for uh, joining me. Hey, just a quick note here. So, forgot to mention the uh, hydration bladder, kind of like a camelback. Made sure to throw a couple liters of water in there. Um, holds two liters, so that's about uh, just over half a US gallon. But yeah, just, you never know when you're going out, how long you're gonna be out or what's gonna happen. You always wanna make sure you've got extra everything. So although I just planned on going out, shooting some quick video today, made sure to have lots of water in here. Plus also, there's always two bottles of water, which is a liter, so that's what, quarter of a gallon <clears throat> in the ADC bag at all times. All kinds of little drink mixes and everything. Food, you name it. Uh, some extra clothes, right? Some socks and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also those little Kool-Aid, uh, the clear, the flavored water packages, got three of those because you just never know, especially a day like today, you get sweating, which luckily I'm not doing too bad, but you know, you don't want to have heat stroke or nothing. A good hat, you know, I might even fold the, the brims down, or the, the side of the brim down, keep that sun off me. And uh, before I left, I must have chugged well, not chugged, but <laughs> installed a, a good amount of water, at least a, a liter, no, at least a quarter gallon before I took off even. You just got to keep that fluid in you. Even when it's cold out, it's good to stay hydrated. Keep that blood pumping. All right, there. Now I'm officially signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.